game that we're going to be seeing because I am hyped for it. Uh, we actually have, so it's really cool to have to buzz in attendance here. And he's playing off against Shinji, who there is actually a lot of history between these two. Despite the fact that even when uh, the buzz plays mat like a matchup like this, which on paper I think is pretty dang good for Rosa. Uh, We've definitely seen Sinji take it before mm -hmm. in both iterations of the game that they've played in, actually. For sure, but I already love, you know, DeBuzz is kind of being just a little bit aggressive, but also just like knowing that, you know, whenever they get that damage, they just, you know, run back and it's just like, what can you do now? I mean, granted, we're already at like, you know, 76%. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, there's actually going to be a lot of interesting play between these two, especially because of that down B. It's something that Rosa can throw out. It, first of all, we've already seen just absorbs and neutralizes the Hydrant, which is normally one of Sinji's best tools like that. It's gone. Normally, that would be something that could, you know, put extra pressure on the corner. But no, it's not really going to be a factor. I also believe that if she uses down B on the, uh, the fruit, she can actually pick it mm -hmm. up. So that's another factor that can be really scary mm -hmm. for Sinji. That was actually a change that they made um, from Smash 4 to now. Yeah, I would know because I... <laughs> Rosa. Ex Rosa main. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, but yeah, the kind of thing is that, like, you know, Rosa, I honestly truly think that, like, she just, just does things to this character. And it's just like, what can Sinji do? Other than, you know, be aggressive. Like, he can't be defensive like he normally wants to. Yeah. But at, like, at this point, it's just like he's getting stuffed out for every aggressive option he wants to do. That is true. But, we, you know, he managed to get a lot of that early damage in. But now that we're getting to the point where he needs to be finding the kill, that's where things become really tricky. I will say one of the advantages in the matchup is that Rosa still can't really just freely throw out up air. It's very difficult to actually get the timing for that. I don't know why that jab reversed the way it did, but that actually helps out Sinji as right now he might have a chance to actually take the stock first. Back throws are not going to do it quite mm -hmm. yet. Maybe some pummeling should have been in order right there, but... This is the sort of thing where Rosa, without Luma trapped in the corner, this could be the opportunity for Sinji to take the stock, but respawn again, we're actually back to neutral at the same time. And you know the thing too, is that like, Rosa has so much of an easier time just like, using Pac-Man's, you know, fruit against them, like, and oh my god! <laughs> Oh, you forgot about the red flowing star, right? Listen, there. It, was, it was a trade. It was a, <laughs> they both managed, they both dropped that stock. And I mean, it's the sort of thing where, mm -hmm. in order to attack with Luma, you know, to Buzz had to hit a button, which put him vulnerable to that mm -hmm. melon. So if you're Sinji, I don't know if he 100% knew exactly what was going to be ha be happening, but I think it's still a worthwhile mm -hmm. trade. Um, I do think that even though this matchup definitely very tricky for Pac-Man, at the same time, you could see that Sinji knows what he needs to be doing. The way that he's down airing Luma in all these close quarter situations, mm -hmm. the exact options that he's picking are very effective. And oh man, look at all that damage already, 39%. And Sinji with some stage control to boot goodbye my child luma's my child i'm so sorry <laughs> okay how replaceable do you think children are um, does it really take you listen. 13 seconds to move on listen 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 no 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 no, no. you're getting it all twisted <laughs> all all luma that come into existence are my children and when they die, they are serving a greater purpose. However, that is lore for another day, another time. Right now, we're talking about the lore that is this game getting smacked right in the face with that hydrant. And it's just like, we're in a kid's party game. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> thing is, you know, there is definitely a story at play here. 117%. This is similar to what we saw earlier. Sinji taking an early percent lead, but then kind of struggling to find the kill. He actually kind of lucked out last time that he managed to get a stock trade. Uh, Luma gone yet, yeah, actually going to be popping, means that perhaps Sinji can push stage advantage just a little bit. No, an overextension on his part actually gets him up smashed. And all of a sudden, here's where things can get really tricky. DeBuzz with a lead is one of the scariest players out there. And already, look at the oh, way he's playing God. to it. 53%, look at this. And you know another thing too, like this is so scary, specifically because look at how many times, you know, DeBuzz just removes hydrant from the equation hydrant fruit you know everything is being removed and it's just like what can sinji do when everything you have is getting taken like 
uh, it's so crazy. And not only that, like, a lot of other characters, if they have an option like that, mm -hmm. Shinji knows how to bait them into it and punish them for doing it. But so far, he hasn't really found a way of actually replicating that with uh, with the buzz. He's just down being, and at no point has Shinji really been able to find a way to even counteract it in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and look at that. He can't even throw out... If he throws out projectiles in which does Buzz can react to them mm -hmm. with a down B, then, ugh, then they're not just not going to work out. And you know, like, the thing is, people, like, I know people complain about Pac-Man. It's a thing, but how can you complain about Pac-Man when you have a Rosa with, like, I don't remember the frame specifically, but an up smash that is invincible on, like, the tip of her head and just, like, says, you can't press an air on my shield. You can't do that. At Why are you doing that? At the same time, Pac-Man does have a really good boxing game. You mm -hmm. know, the fact that forward air is so safe and so tricky to actually punish means that he can put on a lot of pressure. <gasps> that up tilt could have been really big, getting more damage, but to buzz his DI just a little bit too good here. Sinji once more off stage, and at these really high percents, he could definitely get ledge tracked. That Lumo, it's threatening him from that, <laughs> from that specific height. That's so crazy. Oh my god, gonna take that first game. And I just love the placement of, you know, Lumo sometimes. And I can kind of give a little bit of information about just Lumo altogether. Um, so the way that kind of Lumo works when um, Lumo is displaced is that, you know, look at this right here. So Lumo sli um, acts slightly after, you know, Rosa does. So if she jumps, she jumps right after. However, if, you know, something happens like that, you can kind of just, you know, like essentially Lunar land down air and just kind of get away from it for C free does down air can you lunar land with down air i thought it was one of the only aerials that she still gets the landing lag from uh it. no so it was a thing in smash 4 right. um so <laughs> what, essentially what happens is if you um use down air you essentially auto cancel luma you can auto cancel it to back air forward air up air another down air and you know it, i think the buzz obviously knows all of this but it's just really good at how he actually places it and just like a lot of the times he uses that knowledge from you know luma acting just slightly afterwards to 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 place his hitbox so well with a hitbox like an up air to catch um high recoveries um you know down air if you know they're on shield they're at ledge it's just so good and we're going to town city i really like this for rosa but i don't know. I think for one, he wants that higher ceiling. He mm -hmm. died from up smash, definitely on that last stock right there. And oh, for uh, it was also like a big jump call out. Mm -hmm. You know, like Shinji was shielding into Buzz's face, and he was like, "No, I'm just gonna up smash because I know you're gonna jump." Uh, so you know, at the very least, higher ceiling means that there's a little bit more room for error mm -hmm. in that regard. Uh, but beyond that, we also have this mm -hmm. FD variant, which I know Sinji normally loves, although with that down B as a factor means that maybe he can't get as much out of it as maybe he normally would be able to. Mm -hmm. And I just love that kind of placement from DeBuzz right there. He was just slightly right out of, you know, the placement of um, Hydrant, however, just going to get hit in the face, you know, just die. Oh. And her duress got caught by that freaking ghost right there. Did you and see that? That ghost lasted for forever, man. Absolutely. He would not move on to the afterlife. <laughs> afterlife. Oh, he saved Luma, I think. Oh, I think yeah. He saved him with the first set of dash attack, somehow got Luma out of tumble. Oh my god. I just love the way that, oh my god, the buzz is using his nair. He used it so well. And it's just like in that moment, he used it and he knew that, you know, people can jump out of it. And it's just like, look at all of this. Nair, just reading, you know, Sinchi's landing, that up smash killed that hydrant. Look at all this. And using freaking star bits to kill the freaking, um, what's it called? Um, Pac-Man up B. That's so crazy. Yeah, I think it is worth noting that Pac-Man up B, I believe, cannot be absorbed by down B. So it's something that Sinji has been using a little bit more to create some distance, uh, like a little bit of a roadblock that he normally would do with hydrant, but kind of can't because of the nature of the matchup. Um, but for sure, very nice fair. Get second fair into up air. That wasn't going to hit, but like still, that would have been so cute. Not really cute. It was just whatever, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and Sinji wants to be closing the gap, not just because, you know, he can threaten things like forward air, but also when he gets closer, he can actually throw out the bonus fruit. When he's too far mm -hmm. away, the buzz can definitely react with down B. So the question is how he manages to actually get in that much. Oh, I like that. Throwing it the other Ooh. way to make sure it's in hand. Some nice oh damage, God. but... Watch out for Luma. Yeah, I will say that one thing that we're already seeing from, uh, from uh, Stingy, rather, is that these higher percents, he's 
you know, last time he went for two forward smashes. He realizes that it's very hard to kill Rosa, especially DeBuzz's Rosa, so he's going for those big callouts. If uh, DeBuzz has adjusted to that, then it's going to be a little bit trickier, but nonetheless, it is always going to be a possible threat. <laughs> just, you know, just doing, oh my god. Like, it, it's just, the way that he kind of just approaches, you know, <gasps> all of these situations where normally people are just scared, they do nothing. What fear does the Buzz have? The Buzz is fearless. Yeah, that, that down air before was fearless. But finally finding that uh, that bell into up smash. But that's the sort of thing where normally Sinji would be throwing that out at much farther distances, much safer distances. Mm -hmm. But he is forced to be at this range where the buzz, you're seeing him throw out these star bits because that's the exact position where normally Sinji would like to be. Mm -hmm. Just catching all of those landings and just making it so oh. hard for Sinji to get back to stage. And just, like, constantly aware that this is something that, you know, this is where, you know, Sinji has their disadvantage. Whenever they're in the air, they throw Hydra, and is just constantly aware of how Sinji wants to land, and how they actually DI out of that Nair. Because I think if you actually um, DI out out of Nair, it's not true. Mm. So, I'm, I, I might be absolutely horrifyingly wrong about that. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> well, we might see that Nair into up air come into play later on in this very game. Sinji now at 135% trapped at the ledge. Without Luma, it's not nearly as scary, but nonetheless, he's struggling to find those big hits. You know, at, it's the sort of thing where I think another forward smash mm -hmm. in the right position might be in order, but... Oh man, he doesn't have the chance. The buzz is always on top of him, putting him at the ledge. I haven't seen Sinji be comfortable in a long time. Literally, what have you seen Sinji ever be comfortable at all? I like mean, I've seen Sinji definitely be comfortable. No, uh, I mean like in this matchup, not, you mean? Oh yeah, but <laughs> it's still like for somebody to make Sinji feel that uncomfortable. It's just like look at that. That fourth is not gonna kill yet. However, it does kill. But that oh, was yeah. such a nice um, dash grab right there. As I believe this was the dash attack cancel grab, so, right? Well, yeah, it's like a dash attack cancel grab. That was down there doing the thing. And the time! Why? Oh, my God. He knew. That's so crazy. I, I missed the taunt. I was too busy seeing because that was... You know, Sinji definitely died from that, but that was pretty close. Oh, yeah, he spun. Oh, my God. Did a twirl. L Rosa, just do a twirl for us. <laughs> do a twirl. Do a spin. Do an up mm. air. Do a nair. Dance all around Sinji. Yes, period. Yeah. <laughs> Sinji did get pretty close here. I mean, at 92%, there are definitely things he could have done to get the kill. What was he looking for there? He was just dashing back and forth, not respecting the fact that Luma will absolutely just go straight through the platform and actually get to buzz the 2-0 victory. Moving on into winner semis. And oh, now we're... Now we're in the uh, the next stage of Winner's Quarters, mm -hmm. and it's looking like it's going to be Tilda versus Zane. Now, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know about Tilda, first of all, you should watch Zeno every week, seriously. If you're not watching, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, and if you if you have been watching Zeno, you know the tear that he has been on. It is a five peat. Is that what it is? It, it, <sighs> it is a five peat, but. I it's mean, I will say, if there was any night where tonight his legacy might be stopped in place... All right, actually, we, we did a bit of a switch in schedule, but I do want to just mention... We 